there. Over the past weekend, I participated in the second pre-qualifying round of Stage K. If you don't know what Stage K is, it's basically a new variety show made by the company JTBC. They went around parts of Asia, parts of North America, and parts of Europe searching for foreign K-pop cover artists who would fit their show. I haven't been dancing for very long, but I heard about this competition through my dance account and I thought, you know, why not? The first round was online. You had to submit um, an application as well as a picture of yourself and a video of you or your group dancing. And I feel like everybody passed the first round. I feel like I should mention this now. During my preparation time for Stage K, I actually auditioned for a K-pop cover group called Eclipse K-pop and I got in. As soon as I got in, I found out that they were also going to Stage K, so it was kind of like we could meet up with each other in LA. So since I'm in Eclipse now, I hung out with them for basically the entire weekend. I mean, I wish I could have hung out with them more, but I spent the majority of my weekend with them. Well, my mom and I drove down to LA the day before it was my day to audition. So we're in the car, we're on our way to LA. Say hi, mom. Hi. Hello. So this is what my hair looks like right now. I'm gonna do it on the way down there and hopefully it looks good. We'll see. We've been on the road for about an hour now. I'm supposed to meet Eclipse down in LA um, at the Pink Wall. They're gonna do a public cover there and I'm gonna go cheer them on because that's my group. But then after that, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna get some practicing in tonight. I need to like practice all my dances. I need to practice really hard. I don't know, I'm just feeling like I'm not nervous at all, which is surprising. Cause I thought I would be nervous, but I'm not. Taste the summer in your salt skin. I could be the one that never let you in. Probably lost in a thousand tiny daydreams about how things once were. completely now and like I'm kind of over it already I want to be there it's gonna take a while but hopefully I make it for the public filming for Eclipse because I really 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 want to make it there to like bond with the members and stuff like that and also I think it'll be really motivating for me to like go to a public filming today especially if with people who are in a group with me because I feel like if I see people dancing then like I'll be like okay work harder we gotta dance we gotta do this since I live in Northern California it took about six hours to get down to LA and as soon as I got there I met up with Eclipse like I wasted no time going to see them hey so I'm finally here and I made it to the pink wall where Eclipse is filming for a public cover they just finished filming. Oh. I'm not leaving. I'm going to my car. <laughs> it's hot outside, but yeah, we're just gonna hang out and it's gonna be cool. This is the finished product of my hair, by the way. After I went to Eclipse's first public filming, um, we met up at LACMA for them to film another public filming there, and it was just a really cool experience. <laughs> Yes. 
so I didn't really film that much from today because most of the day I just spent with Eclipse but it was a pretty good day I'm gonna practice a lot because I really desperately need it I honestly feel confident and today was really fun so like that helps with my confidence when I'm feeling good okay ooh that was not even a loud clap at all this is probably the part that you all were wondering about my personal experience at Stage K LA and so I'm just gonna start by saying as I said earlier um, this was the second round of Stage K the first round was online um, they had their website up where you downloaded the application you sent it to their email and if they chose you they would email you back in a few hours they had the dates of each second round in each city on their website but you could only see the specifics if you passed to the next round so after I submitted my application and my video of me dancing they emailed me a few hours later and they're like oh congratulations on passing the first pre-qualifying round for stage K here's all the information you need to know about the audition in LA so I was like cool in the email they told you what you needed to bring for the audition and they had you pick um, a date and a time a specific time for your audition so like I picked Sunday at 1 p.m. Good morning! It's the day of stage K! Um, right now we're at my aunt's house. We're about to leave to drive all the way to the Hudson Theater for my audition. Put your mind to please, my, my mind to please. to the audition I actually got up really early we left my aunt's house at around um 10 and we got to the venue at 12 o'clock literally exactly 12 p.m. but my audition was at once so I had a whole hour to spare luckily when I got there they were doing random dance play outside of the venue and I immediately saw the Eclipse members and I ran to them I was like I need you guys so I went over to join Eclipse and side note the members of Eclipse are literally some of the nicest people I've ever met in my entire life like as soon as I went up to them they all hugged me and they were comforting me and telling me like oh because their audition was at 11 a.m. so they had already gone so they were telling me how the audition went and they were comforting me and making sure that I wasn't feeling nervous they were like it's not that big of a deal you know it, this is how it went and this is what you need to do and you're gonna do great and all this stuff and I was like I can't handle all this love so after the random dance play I said goodbye to Eclipse and I went inside and it was time for me to check in for my audition. When you go inside, as you can see, there's a reception area, which is like the waiting area. And in the front of the reception area, there's a front desk where about three staff were sitting and you checked in there. Once you check in, they give you a packet with all of your answers from the first round auditions online. They also give you instructions for the day and some information about the next round and along with those two things they also give you a big like name tag sticker that you put your name on and then you wear it right but let me tell you those things are so flimsy this is what mine looks like now it literally as soon as i put it on it ripped this got so bad for me that the staff literally just gave up and taped it around my body. Like you can see this part was around my body because they were like, okay, it's not going to work. So after signing in, getting all my stuff, I went and sat down in the weight room. And I'm an awkward person. Everybody in the waiting room was either practicing or conversing with each other or, you know, a lot of people had airpods in and they were like ooh 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 and one thing that i was surprised about was the amount of groups i assumed that most people would be doing it by themselves but a lot of groups came and there were a lot of big named groups 
the first bite were there cosmic pulse were there eclipse k-pop was there like <laughs> even though i knew they were gonna be there i didn't expect so many other groups and so many other big groups to be there so i felt kind of self-conscious especially because everybody was dressed up in performance outfits i was dressed in practice wear i had on leggings i had on this tank top literally i was not prepared to be fashionable but after sitting down for a while one of the staff came up to me and he asked if he could take a picture of me with my number on with this thing on so he took my picture and then he kind of went around to like the other contestants and he was taking their pictures with their numbers then another staff member came up to me and she had a sticky note on like a clipboard and she was asking me like what my songs were gonna be how long they were um, if they were edited or not, if I edited them, stuff like that. I wasn't necessarily nervous when I got there. One thing about the audition was there were quite a few cameras set up around the building and I honestly didn't notice them at first. On the drive back, since my mom had come into the venue for a little while, she had told me like, oh yeah, there were cameras everywhere and there were mics on the ceiling. And I was like, mics on the ceiling? After talking to some people finally and hearing the experiences that they had in their auditions, I got super scared and here's why. I found out from some of the people who I was talking to that one, if you had a popular song that like a lot of people did that day, the judges would come up to you and ask you to change your song last minute. Like the staff, the staff in the waiting room was coming up to people and saying, oh, you have Yes or Yes by Twice. Okay, can you do this instead? And that didn't really scare me because my songs were Bois by Red Velvet, which I still don't think anybody else did that. You Think by Girls' Generation and Like Ua by Twice. So I, I wasn't really worried about getting my songs changed, but the next thing that they told me was that they were cutting people off for time. I had no fear until I heard that they were cutting people off. Hearing that they were cutting people off kind of psyched me out. That's all I was thinking about in the practice room. That would get to me. I would, like, I was so scared of being cut off. I was like, they're not gonna like me. They're gonna cut me off. They're just gonna tell me to leave. Like, I was shook. So, then after freaking out and practicing Bois like 50,000 times in the practice room, the staff that had taken my picture earlier came back up to me and told me like, it was my turn, I was about to be up. After he told me that it was about to be my turn, he joined another staff and they were kind of talking with each other in Korean, but like I speak Korean, so I was listening to them. And the, the staff that was with him asked him if they should film my interview in like a certain part of the room that we were in and so i just answered her and then they both looked at me like so then that sparked them to start the interview by asking me how i knew korean about my family etc 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 which i take to be a good thing because i feel like if the questions are more personalized to you that means you stand out more than if they had just asked me like oh who's your favorite k-pop person after the interview was done, they told me to wait by the door where the hallway was to go into the audition room. At this point, I noticed those cameras. Like, I didn't notice them before, like I said, but as soon as it was my turn to wait to go into the audition room, I looked around me and it felt like all the cameras were on me. There was a staff who had a camera who was right down in front of me like filming me from below there was a camera on a tripod that was pointing at me there were cameras that were like set up in like secret locations sort of that were filming everything and i was like oh buddy <laughs> so when it was finally my turn the staff who was holding the camera down at me proceeded to get up and then walk in front of me with the camera and followed me that way into the hallway of the audition room. 
and I felt so bad because she like kind of bumped the wall because she wasn't looking behind her and I was like uh, are you okay like I stopped walked in the cameras were filming me the entire time I went around the corner that the hallway was in opened the curtains and I see like 15 people in that audition room like with the cameras I was fine but there were so many people in that room there was like a row of like six judges at a table then there was like three or four people behind them and there was like two cameramen I really felt it then like wow this is an audition for a TV show like there were so many people in that room and Eclipse had already told me how it was gonna be so I should have like mentally prepared myself for the amount of people in the room but there was still a lot of people in that room. So I did my audition about 30 minutes ago and I'm still out of breath but I think it went really well actually. Um, the only thing is I feel like I'm dying low-key. My stomach has been hurting all weekend, but I tried to like toughen through it. And I think I'm doing pretty well, but after dancing through my set in front of them, my stomach, I felt like I was going to pass out and like throw up at the same time. But I got through it. I did it. Basically, I think they liked me actually because my time was at 1, so... By the time I got here, they were cutting people off for time. So I asked them, instead of doing both of my songs, if I could just do one of full. And they were like, yeah, okay. And then I got through all of the song. And then they were like, okay, do your next song. And I was like, <sighs> if you'd like to see what I performed, you can follow me on my dance account. I'll be posting a filmed version of my performance there soon. Also, I post every week, so if you like watching people dance, I'm your gal. If you just want to follow me on my personal just to keep up with me, you can follow that too. Both of those will be in the description. Overall, I feel like this is a very good experience for me. I enjoyed it so much. I'm really glad I got to do it. I'm really grateful to JTBC and to my mom for being there for me, riding with me. I don't think I would have ever been able to do anything like this otherwise. I hope this video was entertaining for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And make sure to subscribe. Bye! You like, baby.